Simply said, a cryptocurrency is a digital asset. It was given the term currency because it was designed to act as a medium of trade in the same manner that fiat money does today. A blockchain maintains track of all online transactions. The blockchain records each unit's transactions and is used to confirm ownership. The easiest way to understand digital assets is to use virtual tokens. These tokens have value in the internal system and may be used to record financial transactions and other important data. The use of cryptocurrencies as a monetary system is still the most profitable part of crypto. It allows users to exchange cryptocurrencies between entities in exchange for goods and services. Cryptocurrencies offer particular advantages since they are not governed by any central authority. Processing expenses are often minimal to non-existent. The government has very little influence and regulates less. This indicates that cryptocurrencies are portable, inflation-resistant, and have a clear transaction history. Now that we've established what cryptocurrency is, let's look at how Pi Network will derive its value. Remember that even the core team does not know the price of Pi, and no pioneer does either. But I'll attempt to provide you with the information, so you can grasp the basics of how the price of any currency is set. This way, you'll have a better understanding of how the Pi coin price will be determined. Also, let me add that the price will be set by us, the pioneers. You're probably wondering how. Stay tuned to find out. So what is behind the crypto value? Cryptocurrencies, like any money, gain value based on the extent of community engagement, such as user demand, scarcity, or the coin's usefulness. Keeping in mind that the majority of digital coins on the market are issued, by private blockchain-related organizations, some aspects of crypto value will be influenced by the image and efficiency of these companies, such as project viability and perceived worth. Let us take a broad look at what makes cryptocurrency valuable. Next, we will look at the coin's utility. To make a cryptocurrency valuable, it must be useful. Any cryptocurrency is basically a representation of the use of blockchain technology, which is a decentralized digital ledger. So, in order to make your crypto coin useful, you must make it usable inside a certain blockchain environment. Consider Ethereum as an example. You cannot begin utilizing the Ethereum network without an Ether, a token designed specifically to fuel transactions on the Ethereum platform. As a result, the value of Ethereum is determined by the demand for the network services. The usefulness of cryptocurrency can also include dividend payments, a medium of trade inside a blockchain ecosystem, voting rights, and so on. Next on the plate is the scarcity of crypto. Scarcity represents the limited nature of the digital currency. To make the coins more valuable, the demand should exceed the supply in the ideal case. For example, Bitcoin's limited supply never surpasses 21 million coins. As the most popular cryptocurrency on the market, Bitcoin is in high demand and has seen its value skyrocket. In order to drive the growth in value, some currencies use a process known as burning, which destroys a percentage of the coin supply. Let us also remember that the value of any cryptocurrency is decided by the overall profitability and success of the project's development. Projects that evolve over time, completing one milestone after another, forming profitable alliances, or releasing user-friendly software acquire more value in the eyes of the market. All of these are indications that contribute to the project's good attitude and impact the value of its cryptocurrency. Another thing to consider is market capitalization. This is more important than the price of each individual coin. Market capitalization is a simple measure of the coin's market worth. The market cap score is calculated by multiplying the total circulating supply by the coin's individual price. Market capitalization equals total circulating supply multiplied by the price of each coin. Let's have a look at an example. If coin A has 20 million coins worth $2 each circulating on the market, the crypto's market value is 20 million multiplied by 2 equals $40 million. Similarly, if coin B has 10 million coins in circulation, each worth $3, the market capitalization is 10 million multiplied by 3, equals $30 million. Despite the fact that CoinB has a higher individual value, Coino appears to have a far larger overall value than CoinB. As a result, the coin market cap score provides a more accurate representation of a cryptocurrency's true value. 
It is important to note that the majority of cryptocurrencies are traded using Bitcoin as a point of reference. United States dollars are an excellent analogy for this. Do you know how the USD is used to trade not just fiat currency but also oil and other commodities? It's the exact same thing. Most cryptocurrencies can only be obtained by first buying Bitcoin. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are thought to be volatile, with high volatility. But, with the rising number of tech giants and influential individuals expressing interest in blockchain, digital ledgers, and many governments across the world trying to find ways to regulate it, cryptocurrency is undoubtedly a phrase that is here to stay and, dare we say, it is the future. In the case of Pi, a supportive community has grown and continues to grow, with over 30 million active pioneers, indicating acceptance. Many businesses and marketplaces have already been developed, and are ready to accept and use Pi as a form of payment for products and services. The trade volume for Pi will be incredible given the number of pioneers. So, in my opinion, the price of Pi will be defined by the availability of goods and services, in relation to the amount a pioneer is prepared to pay for them. Will a merchant be willing to offer a $1,200 iPhone for 12 Pi? Alternatively, would you spend 120 Pi for the same iPhone? This is basic knowledge, and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. Also hit the notification button to be reminded when new videos like this one are uploaded. My name is Tony. Until my next video. Keep mining.